American. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, my expectations were pretty high for this. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's B. Avery here, and welcome back to my opinion slash review for Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Before we get into the review, uh, I just want you to do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Become one of my subscribers. Go ahead and click the bell so you can also uh, be notified. But anyway... Thank you guys for tuning in for my opinion slash review for Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Uh, like I said, I had pretty high expectations for this movie. Uh, this is being directed by Matthew Vaughn. And in my opinion, he's like one of the best comic book directors out there. Um, one of his movies that he did back in like when he first started out was uh, Layer Cake and Stardust. And I did not see those. But in 2010, um, he did give us uh, Kick-Ass right here. And this is like easily in my top 10 favorite uh, comic book movies of all time. Love this movie. I really didn't care for part two, uh, which he didn't direct. Um, and that's probably why I did so bad. But I do love Kick-Ass. He also gave us X-Men uh, First Class. Uh, this is my favorite X-Men movie out of all of them. It beats Days of Future Past. It beats uh, X-Men Apocalypse. It beats all of them. I love this movie. This movie right here was like both of these pretty much are pretty uh, flawless to me or whatever. I love both of these. There's really nothing much that I can say negative about these movies. I love them both. And of course, Matthew Vaughn did give us The Kingsman, The Secret Service, which came out in 2014. And I like this movie, too, a lot. Um, I did not like it as much as Kick-Ass and X-Men First Class. Um, because one of the gripes that I did have about this movie was the very last um, action scene towards the end when Exe was in the corridor and all those highway, highways, hallways. I feel that he, sh you know, he should have been shot right there and died or something. He just kind of got away with that. And I just really wasn't buying it. But other than that, the movie was flawless. Like, you know, kick ass and um, X-Men First Class. Those are like 9.75 tens out of me. For me, you know, Kingsman, this is like a 9 out of 10. Um, you know, I really did enjoy it. But now we have Kingsman, the Golden Circle. And um, I had high expectations for this movie. It's, you know, because the trailers looked freaking amazing. Um, I was really intrigued because it looks like we get Colin Firth back. And I was just saying to myself when I saw the trailers initially, like, oh, my gosh, how, how is he back? He got his head blown off by Samuel Jackson in the first movie. And I, I'm, I'm going to talk spoilers for Kingsman Secret Service, but I'm not going to talk spoilers for Kingsman the Golden Circle. So no spoilers for this movie here. You can relax. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But I was intrigued by that. And then I'm seeing the tra trailers and, you know, um, after the first movie, after it ends, um, this one picks up. Pretty much Eggsy is, you know, all the way into the organization, the Kingsman Secret Service, and he's getting the hang of things. He's just living his life, enjoying it. And uh, his base gets hacked and it's blown to bits and he doesn't know what's going on. And he has to fall back on the statesman, which is the Kingsman's uh, long distance cousins that are set up uh, primarily in America. And I really do like that because. That's just a great premise for a movie um, because, you know, in the first one, Kingsman Secret Service, the Kingsman seemed like this impen impenetrable group, this impenetrable organization that just cannot be defeated. They seemed like they cross every T and dot every I and they're just completely organized to the T. So just to see even in the trailers that they're just wiped off the face of the earth, it's like, wow, you know, what great threat, you know, is on the scene right now that can just do this to them uh, with ease, apparently. So, I mean, that just, you know, it hypes you up for a great villain. And of course, I will talk about the villain in just a second with it being with Julianne Moore, you know, but uh, she had to kind of top Samuel Jackson, Mr. Valentine from uh, the Secret Service. And, you know, I'll, I'll touch on that in a second. But, you know, I, you know, from the trailers, uh, it looked great because we get Channing Tatum and Jeff Bridges. And there's this other character that I, I don't remember his name, but I do have it. Uh, I do have it pulled up right here. What, what is the guy's name? His name was Whiskey in the movie. Um, and I don't see uh, Pedro Pascal. 
um, or whatever. I don't, I'm not too familiar with his work. If you are, uh, let me know. But, you know, he's doing all this gun slinger stuff or whatever, flipping his guns around, twirling and all about, just shooting people. He has that lasso that's like a lightsaber and all that. He's in the bar with the whip and all that, whipping chairs. And I'm just, you know, Eggsy is doing cartwheels on people's back and shooting. And it's all in slow-mo and we get all the camera action. So my expectations are pretty high for this because, like I said, I love the Secret Service. Um... Matthew Vaughn is coming back and these trailers are good. And I, I, I'll just go ahead and say, guys, um, I won't even say this to the end. The sequel, The Golden Circle, blows the Secret Service out of the water. This is a superior sequel all across the board on all fronts. I mean, from the moment this movie started, from the moment it ended, I was laughing. I was giddy. I was cheering in my seat, you know, just really enjoying everything that was put on the screen for me to enjoy by Matthew Vine. Um, and, uh, you know, he also wrote this, too. Um, he also wrote it with Jane Goldman. Um, she's been with Matthew Vaughn for a moment. You know, she did start, she wrote Stardust with him, Kick-Ass, X-Men, Kingsman, Kingsman 2, and possibly Kingsman 3. Um, but the movie is, is phenomenal, um, across the board. I really do like the, um, all the characters, um, Channing Tatum, you know, he was funny. He was powerful. He was able to fight and do his thing. Um, I love Jeff Bridges, even though it was just kind of more of a brief cameo, you know, he did his thing as well. And even though the, the statesman did have a strong presence in this film, they were also, they didn't, you know, just hog the screen or whatever. This movie still did focus on the Kingsman, which is good because, you know, these are the characters that we know and love from the first movie. Uh, we also did get to see, uh, Holly Berry and she did kind of get, you know, her time to shine as well. Um, I did like her role. Um, she was smart, she was intelligent and she had something to do and she did provide, um, you know, a worthy character that fit within the plot. Mark Strong is back, you know, and I liked him as well. You know, he just kind of gave us more of the same and that's not a bad thing because everything that he did in the first movie, um, uh, was, uh, you know, real good. Uh, Colin Firth, I said, I said real good Colin Firth or whatever, um, the train exit, he's back as well. And like I was just like, okay, how is this guy going to be back? He blew his head. You know, he got shot in the head by Samuel Jackson. But the way that they brought him back in the story, uh, you know, I really do like it. Um, I don't want to say that it's necessarily realistic because, you know, in this movie we have, um, you know, characters with last, uh, you know, with uh, lightsaber lassos and stuff. But within the rules that the this uh franchise is set for himself in the this, this universe that it has for itself you know it, it sticks within those rules not by it you know they gave us an explanation and i was like hmm, okay hey i'm cool with it let's keep going you know i don't mind this you know like um this is a this is a fun this movie really is a just a gigantic fun silly roller coaster ride for children um and when I say children, I mean for you even as adult, because as I was watching this movie, I did feel like a child. I mean, it was just that fun. Like I had no worries. I had no concerns. I was just sitting back, relaxing, smiling to myself, just, you know, with a big smile on my face, just, you know, enjoying myself. Just like, you know, I know everything is going to be all right. And when I say that the movie still even had stakes too. Okay. So I don't mean to say that, like, you know, I know everything's going to be okay. Um, you know, it's not going to have any stakes. No, there was a sense of danger. I just, I mean it as far as I knew everything was going to be okay as I know that I'm going to enjoy this movie. I don't see how this movie can fail me with the tone that it, you know, is putting forth at the very beginning, you know, of this movie. Now, um, as far as the villain is concerned, Julianne Moore, she plays a great villain. She is a psychopathic a uh, lunatic. Now Samuel Jackson was too in the first one, but Julianne Moore just takes it to a whole other level. Um, there is something really wrong with her and sickening. And the crazy thing is, is excuse me, she doesn't necessarily realize it herself. Um, I mean, I think she knows that something is wrong with her, but she really doesn't know that something is wrong with her. And she's just really uh, mentally disturbed. So, the, you know, just like she does this one scene kind of, you know, we have movies like this. The villain always has to do something just to kind of show how badass and crazy they are or whatever. And then she she has her little scene like that towards the beginning. And I was like, wow, that's pretty disgusting. I don't know why you will make somebody do this, but, you know, uh, she did a great job, you know, as, uh, you know, portraying herself as a worthy villain. 
Uh, one that I even like a little bit more than um, Samuel Jackson. Yes, he was real silly because he had the lisp and he talked like this. But Julianne Moore's character is silly as well as the villain. But even though they're both silly, they both were worthy threats. They both, um, you know, were very dangerous. And so, you know, I have to give it to uh, Matthew Vaughn there. As far as the action is concerned, uh, concerned, um, that's top notch too. Um, you can tell that they gave Matthew Vaughn a lot more in the production budget for just him to have fun and let loose with the technology. I don't want to spoil anything for you here with some of the things that I did not see in the trailer, but it was completely over the top. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they did this. And there was really, just really no point to put it in this movie other than just to say that he did it and to have fun. And there's nothing wrong with that because I, I really did like it. I really did like it. And I, I, I'll go ahead and just say this. I'll, I'll just say robotic dog. I really did love the robotic dogs. Something else that I really did like was, as you see in the trailer, as Exit is finding somebody, there's a guy with a mechanical arm and he's shooting it and his arm is shooting out on like a little cable or something like he's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat or whatever. And that's just freaking badass. I love that too. I mean, there's just so many freaking toys in this movie that the director wrote and included in this movie that just, you know, makes it stand, uh, uh, you know, it, it take this is, you know, loosely based on James Bond in a way, kind of like a parody of that, a satire. Um, of some sorts um, but it's just a goofy fun over the top version of it but just not over the top too far I mean it is just it's really clever and just I, I don't know I, I mean I couldn't I couldn't get enough of it and then there's like some car chases too in this movie one at the very beginning it, it was very intense it feels like the whole thing was just done in like one take or whatever and then we get to see like the camera go in and outside the car uh, without it breaking the last time I've seen something like that was the Raid 2 or the Raid Redemption or whatever. Um, that movie, that, that martial arts foreign film that came out. They had a nice car chase too. This one was just kind of like that with a lot more CGI uh, but cranked up to 50 or whatever. Um, and um, the Raid 2, it was more realistic and more practical. But at the same time, this one here... Uh, you know, it, it was a lot more CGI, but I still had a lot of fun with it, too. This movie is also freaking hilarious as well. You're going to laugh your ass off. There's a lot of jokes, um, a, a lot of snarky jokes, a lot of clever jokes. Uh, you know, there's a um, I want to. Yeah. Elton John is in this movie. He makes a cameo and the some of the things that they just have him doing in this movie are just freaking hilarious. And I just really did enjoy it. There's there's really nothing that I did not enjoy about this movie. It's not predictable at all. At all. It comes into two hours and like 20 minutes, but it doesn't seem like that at all. The movie flows by very quickly. Um, the pacing is just splendid. You know, I have no gripes there. And the plot, you know, I really did like the plot and the story. You know, like I said, it wasn't predictable. I did not know how things were going to turn out. Um, you know, within the end, towards the end. And, um, you know, even when I thought it was over, it just pleased me and surprised me and gave me even much more. Um, so, you know, that's great as well. I mean, there's just so many positive things that I can say about this movie. I mean, I really did like it. I haven't had this much fun at a movie in such a long time. On top of that, meeting my expectations because my expectations were high. And, um, there was also a level of heart with this movie, too, with the characters and the character development, because that, are, that is really one thing that I really did like about this movie is really just how it tied in with the first one. Like right as the first one ends, this one picks up with all the relationships and the character, uh, um, the character. How, how all the characters are interacting with each other, you know, uh, it was seamless, you know, seriously, like Eggsy has a girlfriend now and, you know, he, you know, who was the last person that he was with, you know, at the end of the secret service or whatever, you know, it was the princess. So now that's his girlfriend. And some of the characters that you thought died in the last movie did not die. They're alive in this movie. And then they're still back to try to get their revenge and all that. And then, you know, we get a different, um, we get some of the same scenes from the last movie, but from a completely different perspective. And then we get some more backstory and, you know, it's just a really great character development, great, great plot, great story. It's funny. It's action packed. I mean, um, you know, this is all around fun movie right here to where, you know, I, I pretty much loved it. I mean, I cannot complain about the only thing I can compl complain about is my own personal experience in this movie, because uh, there was a lady that kind of spilled her drink over in my seat at, at, in the middle of an action scene. And I was really pissed off at her and I had to move over seat and she was stupid. But other than that, 
I really did enjoy this, guys, uh, and I think you read. I think you will too. I, I do recommend this movie. If I had to rate Kingsman, the secret. If I had to rate Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Oh, actually, I do find something I could complain about, and I almost forgot. Um, yeah, let's slow down a little bit. There, okay, and I, I think what it made me think about it is because I said the golden circle. I, I'm still going to stick with my rating, but this is a little this is a little nitpicky here. Okay, so there's a secret organization by Julianne Moore, but I think it was kind of dumb that she had some type of, uh, I'll just say a body mark that represented who was in her organization. And it was just kind of like blatantly obvious, like, OK, why would you do this to people so people can know that, you know, they're in this type of organization? I mean, you're I don't know. I mean, like it, it just didn't make sense. I, it, it was, This is brief. You know, I, I kind of like noticed that I was kind of like, OK, that was that really doesn't make any sense. But, you know, uh, the golden circle has meaning. And um, I think it was just kind of. uh like a little giveaway at times. I think you should just be more discreet with the body mark, but you know, that's that. And then the other thing, what was the other thing that I was just about to say? Uh, y'all thought this is going to be perfect. Um, it just slipped my mind. I guess it's not that important because I can't remember right now, but it was the golden circle. Cause I was thinking if I had to rate this thing out of one or 10, I would give the case when the golden circle. And that's what made me remember that. Oh, what I was going to say is, this is not necessarily a great, but as you know, there's going to be a giant showdown at the end of the movie at pop, probably at someone's secret base or something like that. I did kind of say to myself, OK, if the cat is out the bag, why aren't more troops going there? There may have been an explanation or a reason to why that, you know, that didn't take place. Uh, but during all the action, I was like, wait a minute, couldn't y'all have brought, brought more people? But, you know, I was having so much fun that I actually, after I thought of that, I was like, I don't care. I'm having so much fun because this action is that freaking dope. But anyway, back to my rating. If I had to rate Kingsman, the golden circle out of a one out of 10, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, a 9.5 out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Kingsman, the golden circle? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. Also, guys, go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. I do have written reviews and you can also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I also made it really easy for you guys by putting the description for each of those down in the description box below. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. You know you want to help me reach my first milestone of 1,000 subscribers. And guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Kingsman, The Golden Circle, direct, written and directed by Matthew Vaughn. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.